Hi, I'm Tote Den, and I'll be talking about strategic dominance interactions in Voltrangian fowl. So, in many group living species, we find dominance hierarchies where individuals differ in their capacity to win aggressive interactions with those most able to do so at the top of the hierarchy, like the red individual, and those less able to do so further down the hierarchy, like the yellow individual. An individual's position in a dominance hierarchy is important because it governs many aspects of its life, including access to resources such as food or mates, as well as its spatial positioning within the group. By engaging dominance interactions, individuals can benefit, for example, by attaining or maintaining the hierarchy position and the related benefits. Um, but dominance interactions also carry costs, including time investment, energy expenditure, and the risk of injury. For a particular individual, if the costs and benefits of direct and dominance interactions vary among their group members, for example, by their relative hierarchy position, then they should interact strategically to uh, maximise the benefits and minimise the costs. So recent studies have found evidence for this, um, and in this graph on the right, you can see that the uh, observed rate of aggression, which is the solid line in the red confidence interval, slides above the null model um, at small negative rank differences. So towards these individuals. And this means that um, in this social group, individuals direct aggression uh, towards individuals just below themselves in the hierarchy. And the authors found uh, that the same was the case in a second social group. So this approach was then expanded um, earlier this year um, to existing empirical data sets uh, on diverse species. However, we wanted to uh, expand on this, um, and we studied patterns of interactions in Voltron guinea fowl to understand these strategies in, in greater detail. So firstly, we asked whether there's evidence for a strategy. Um, for example, individuals might direct their aggressive interactions preferentially towards individuals just below themselves in the hierarchy, like in this example. Um, we then went on to ask whether strategies differ between different types of dominant interactions. For example, um, individuals could direct aggression equally towards um, all lower ranking individuals, uh, and individuals might direct their submissive interactions preferentially towards those individuals right at the top of the hierarchy. We then went on um, uh, to ask whether individuals are strategic in their choice of dominance interaction category in relation to the relative rank difference, because so far we've only focused on um, their preferences uh, within their choices within a particular category of dominance interactions, not between the different types. So individuals might choose um, to uh, preferentially express high cost aggression when interacting with individuals just below themselves in the hierarchy. Uh, and low cost aggression when interacting with individuals further down the hierarchy. So, to see this, um, we collected data on Voltron guinea fowl in central Kenya. So, this is a highly social species that lives in groups of around 20 to 60 individuals, but a group might also uh, split into subgroups at times. They also live in very steep dominance hierarchies, which means that even when individuals are just one rank apart uh, in any given interaction, the probability of the higher ranking individual winning is 90%. So we collected a large interactions data set using an all-occurrence sampling approach. And this comprises two social groups and spans around one and a half years and contains around 7,000 male-male dominance interactions. And this contains eight different types of dominance interactions. So three of these are high-cost aggressive interactions, which are physical violent grabbing of feathers as well as chases. Then we have three low-cost aggressive interactions, which are subtle displacements, uh, also non-contact gapes and gentle pecks, and then we have two uh, submissive interactions which are also low intensity. For uh, questions one and two, we essentially want to create a graph similar to the ones uh, in previous studies where we can relate uh, how much individuals are directing their interactions um, to differences in hierarchy position. So to do this, we built on existing methods in two important ways. We first employ a data splitting approach and here we essentially split our data set to separately infer the two axes of interest, for, so the interaction rate and the ranks. Um, and we can also repeat this many times, each time the data set is split slightly differently, and this allows us to generate a measure of uncertainty, so confidence intervals. We also employ a permutation approach, and this um, allows us to account for variation in opportunity to interact among pairs of individuals, given that this might vary in wild animal groups. So to answer question three, um, we employ Bayes' rule, and this allows us to calculate the probability of high cost versus low cost aggression uh, given the difference in rank. On to our results. Um, so, firstly, we asked if there's any evidence for strategies. This is what our result plots will look like. On the x axis, you have the difference in rank. On the right of the central line, uh, interactions directed up the hierarchy. On the left of the central line, you have interactions directed down the hierarchy. Then on the y axis, we have the tendency to interact. So, this is the interaction rate. Uh, after controlling for uh, opportunity to interact, anything above zero means that interactions um, are directed um, more than we would expect under a random interaction scenario, and below zero, uh, less than we would expect under a random interaction scenario. 
so as you can see, the confidence intervals here are above zero between rank differences of minus 10 to minus 1, which means that individuals are directing aggression um, preferentially towards individuals 1 to 10 ranks below themselves. We also found that aggression up the hierarchy was at or below zero at all rank differences, uh, as we would expect for interactions directed towards higher ranking individuals. We found a very similar pattern in group 2. So to answer question 1, we do find evidence um, for strategies. So secondly, we asked if there are different strategies for different types of dominance interactions. Um, and we found that in low-cost aggressive interactions, uh, individuals uh, employ a very similar strategy. But importantly, the tendency to interact uh, for low-cost aggressive interactions overlapped um, a, a zero um, in both social groups, but this was not the case in high-cost aggressive interactions. There's also variation um, in, at the extremities of the graph, but this should be interpreted with caution um, as uncertainty is greater at larger rank differences. And then we also have submissive interactions, uh, which are preferentially directed towards higher ranking individuals, as you would expect. So we do find um, that there are different strategies for different types of interactions. Lastly, we asked if different individuals are strategic in the choice of this interaction. And this is what our results, will, results plot will look like. On the x-axis, we have the difference in rank. On the y-axis, we have the probability of high-cost aggression versus low-cost aggression um, at every given rank difference. And the dotted line shows a null hypothesis. Anything lying above this means that uh, the probability of high-cost aggression um, is significantly higher than expected, and uh, below the line means that it's lower than expected. So this is what we found for group 1. As you can see, um, the constant intervals uh, here are higher than the, the dotted line. Um, and this means that in this group, individuals disproportionately use high cost aggression towards individuals one to three ranks below themselves in the hierarchy. However, this was not the case in group two. However, the depth of the data is much better for group one, which really shows how data hungry this analysis is. So we find mixed support for strategic choice of dominant interactions in relation to relative rank. So to conclude, we found that Voltran guinea fowl direct dominant interactions strategically with a preference for directing aggressive interactions towards individuals one to ten ranks below themselves, that this varies between different categories of dominance interactions. We also found some evidence for the preferential use of high cost aggression versus low cost aggression towards individuals one to three ranks below themselves in the hierarchy. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for listening.